Hi, hello. Welcome to our living room. Hello. Adam and I are going to film a couple of tags today for you all. These tags are ones that I've done before, but we have not done before as a couple, so... And I haven't done them in a while. I'm going to try not to repeat myself, but I didn't watch my old tags before this, so I might. You can see how much Julian changes versus how much they stay the same. Exactly. The tag we're doing right now is the rapid fire book tag, where the point is to answer as quickly and succinctly as possible and not give long explanations. Apparently, Julian does not like my long windedness. You just go on a little bit too long. You should see how much footage we use up when we film these. Don't, All right. don't, don't use it up. Share it with the world. <laughs> All right, are you ready for Always the rapid ready. fire book tag? All right. So, first question. Paperback or hardback? Hardcover. Paperback. Woo. Right. I can kill a man with my book. But also, uh, I'm adding one. Ebook or audiobook? Audiobook. Audiobook. All right. Uh, online store or in store book shopping? Mm. So, new online, used in person. Bookstore. Same. My answer is the same. If you don't know what you want, you gotta go to the bookstore. Trilogies or Big long series. Isn't a trilogy a big long series? A trilogy is three, specifically three. Yeah, but isn't that a long series? No. It's like a trilogy versus like the Wheel of Time series. I mean, if it's good, I guess, but like it's rare, like I think three should be considered a long series. It's very rare for me to have like read a series that was more than three books. You're explaining too much. It. It's supposed to be your gut answer. What is it? Trilogies then. Same. Okay. Why'd you force me into this? <laughs> heroes or villains? Heroes. Same. Heroes. We're boring. See, I'd have to be if it's a good villain, but Julian's all like, no long-windedness, and then I have to be like, fuck, if it can't, if it's not a good villain, then it's hero. A book you want everyone to read? Child of Fire. I'm gonna cheat as well and say one of my books. Any of them. I'm not Child picky. of Fire. Just to clarify, so you're not all searching Goodreads fruitlessly, Child of Fire is one of my shelved books. I shelved it a long time ago, but for some reason it's Adam's favorite one. Recommended underrated book that is published, so you can't just say Child of Fire again. <laughs> I was gonna go Diary of a Demon, but... No, uh... it's not, that one's also not published. <laughs> Recommended underrated book that is published. Um... Underrated. I don't know if any of the books I read are really underrated, but I like Starship Troopers, but that one's kind of not underrated. It's not popular in the modern zeitgeist, and so, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go with The Wickwire Watch, which I have a review of because it is an indie book and has very, very few reviews, so it is literally underrated. But um, Yeah, the last book you finished. What was the one on the audiobook? Uh, Nettle and Bone. Nettle and Bone. Same. Last book you purchased. Probably a notebook, but we did, I feel like we went shopping at a bookstore not too long ago and did pick up like four books or... I have no idea what the last book I purchased was. It was probably actually an audiobook on Audible, but... Uh, yeah, probably Nettle and Bone. Uh, no, I didn't purchase that. I got that from the library. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, uh, speaking of which, not really, used books, yes or no? Of course. Yeah, that one I think, I feel like goes without saying. Top three favorite genres. Fantasy, political intrigue, like a fa political intrigue in a fantasy world, uh, space opera, and then probably traditional high fantasy. So fantasy, but like, is there a word for, it's not really low fantasy in my opinion, but the ex more soft accessible, magic. accessible fantasy. No, not soft magic, accessible Light, fantasy like Tamara Pierce. Not necessarily that either. I Julian don't know. Julian fantasy. Julian fantasy. I'm gonna call it accessible fantasy. Basically fantasy that's not there to be super fucking dense and make you like have to have an appendices to understand it. Memoir and thriller. Uh, borrow or buy? I will lend, but I generally buy my books. I'm gonna say borrow because I love to borrow from the library and I don't buy anything unless I know that I like it. I was pining for a library card earlier today. We need to get hooked up with the local library. Characters are plot. World building? <laughs> plot a little bit more for me personally. You guys already know that it's characters for me. You already know the answer to that. Long or short books? Longer in general. Short. Long or short chapters? Short. Short. First three books that come to your mind. Wheel of Time, Lord of the Rings, and uh, Basilisk Station, which I forgot the series name. So technically three different series came to mind. Okay. But... I'm gonna say Nettle and Bone because I just read it, Adventure of Mage because I just wrote it, and uh, I'm Glad My Mom Died, which is a memoir. Books that make you laugh or cry. 
Oh, uh, like, do I prefer do laughter you, or do yeah, I prefer Yeah, do you prefer books cry? that make you laugh or prefer books that make you cry? Mm, books that make me cry. Books that make me laugh. I like happier books. I don't like, I don't like misery. Our world or fictional worlds? I'm assuming for fictional. setting. Yeah. Audiobooks, yes or no? Yes. Yes. That one's easy. Do you judge a book by its cover? I mean, first pass, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I mean, covers exist for a reason. They are kind of supposed to help advertise the book. I, as a child, would wander the libraries and ogle covers and, uh, until I found one that intrigued me. Do you prefer when books are adapted into movies or TV shows? Wheel of Time TV shows, but in general, movies. Series should be adapted into se series TV shows, and single books should be adapted into movies. That's a good rule. Yes. Like Hobbit, single book, single, single movie. movie. please. And finally, series or standalone? Series. Standalones. Yay, we made it through that first we one. We made it through one. We made it, it through one. marginally painful. The next one will probably give room for more explanations, so hopefully we will not run out of memory card. Thank you for participating, Adam. Everybody, I have to do an outro for both of the ones we're gonna film today. Everybody don't forget that you can purchase my books available now on Amazon if you want them to be one of the answers to this quiz when you do it. Also, you can find me on Patreon, and if I'm still doing it, you can also hire me on Fiverr to be your developmental editor, so that's really exciting. You should go do that, please. Like and subscribe. No, I usually don't say that. <laughs> Hit the bell. I mean, that's why your, your channel isn't a <laughs> no, success. I have to remind people to like and subscribe <laughs> at this point. We've been on YouTube for our entire lives. People know. Anyways, are we gonna do an outro, do the goodbye and do another one before we run out? Yes, this, all right. Short? All right, are you ready for the goodbye, Adam? Always ready. Three, two, one, bye. bye. I knew it was coming and I still just let you do it. <laughs> keep it gay, keep it gay, keep it gay. All right, I had to, it's Pride Month, but anyway, let's talk about my patrons real quick. Patrons like Kat, Valkyrie, Veda, Ingrid, Roma, Pansing Pony, Julius the Nice Dragon, Haley, Sam, Kiara, Kohikaro, Mooney, Maria, Kristen, Bear, Jojo Bookish, Lauren, Robin, Ursula, Caitlin, KJ, Lafone, Amanda, Celia, Neon NVM, Alyssa, Rita, Debra, Afro, Melissa, Swamp Goblin, Waifu, Sophia, Marine, Kit, Hidden Glade, Light Julie, Patrick, Anne Sophie, Callison, Ray, Shelby, Zaire, Jesper, Rennie, Scribbling Cat, Savvy, Jenny, Amanda, Lisa, and Sarah. Wow, that is a lot of really awesome patrons. I hope they're all doing amazing today, and I hope that you are too.